Hey guys, this is Erica. I'm here to tell you what's in my makeup bag and all the beauty products that I use on a daily basis. Okay, to start out, for foundation, I usually turn to Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Foundation. I'm kind of prone to acne, so I usually don't like putting a ton of makeup on my face, but when I do have an occasional breakout, you definitely need a little bit of coverage. Um, so my trick is I take the Neutrogena makeup and I mix a little bit of that in with my normal clean and clear dual action salicylic acid um, moisturizer and the two both contain um, salicylic acid which definitely helps prevent and treat the my existing acne so I can feel good about just layering that right over my face and I don't have to worry about breaking out even more um, than I already am so those two products together work great and it gives you nice even coverage when you mix them together. And then I also, um, if I still have a little bit of darkness or um, blemishes on my face, I'll just dab a little bit of the Neutrogena right on the spots. For blush, now that it's winter time and my skin's really, really dried out, I like to do cream blush. So I found this NYC um, Blushable Cream Stick in... Um, it's in Berry, New Yorker, and this is really cool because it's just like a giant tube, and you just, I literally just make a little circle on my, the apples in my cheeks, blend it up, and I have this like great glowing skin, um, just enough color, and then you can layer it on um, to get a little bit more color, or um, just do one little application, and it's just a nice subtle glow. Um, next, I just found this Smashbox um, Brow Tech, and it's great because it has two different colors, um, and they're kind of like an eyeshadow, so you can just take um, just like an eyeshadow brush or an angled brush and get right in there and fill in all the fine, um, fine spots in your eyebrows, and then the big part on the bottom is actually an eye gel, eyebrow gel, so you can just smooth everything down and keep your eyebrows in place all day, so that's such a great feature for me. Next, I use the Yves Saint Laurent Radiant Touch. I actually just got this, and it's a little bit pricey, but it's definitely great for any under eye um, bags or any dark circles that you have. It's actually kind of like a lip gloss brush on top, and it's this really great creamy, um, like kind of shimmery um, concealer. And it goes right onto your eyes. You can put it on your brow bone. Um, on the corners of your eyes to give yourself a little bit um, extra coverage. And it's really great because it's a little bit shimmery, so it definitely clears up any darkness that you have, and it makes you feel wide awake even when you're not. Um, next, sticking with the nice champagne colors, I use Benefit in Bikini Lime. It's a really nice shimmery um, light champagne. It's really subtle. You can even just, like, um, put it on your fingers instead of go, having to go and like reach for all these different brushes. You can just toss it in your purse if you need to and just swipe it across your lid. It's really subtle so you don't have to worry about being perfect where you put it. Um, but it definitely just gives your eyes um, a little bit of pop when you need, when you need it. Next, this is my all-time favorite beauty product. It's my eyelash curler. I literally don't leave the house without it. Um, I have pretty long eyelashes, but if I don't curl them, they just kind of look straight and awful. So this is my like saving grace. This is a no-name eyelash curler I probably picked up at the dollar store, um, but it works amazing, and I will not apply mascara until I've curled my eyelashes. Next, I've been using um, Urban Decay for my mascara lately, and I really love this one. It promises length, um, length, curl, strength, everything, and you it really does deliver. It's the Skyscraper Multi-Benefit Mascara, and if you notice, the, the bristles, it's kind of, it's really skinny, but the bristles themselves are really packed close together so that it really latches onto every single of one of your lashes, and it gives you nice, thick lashes without um, all that spidery um, mess that you want to avoid. Next, I usually, I tend to um, not use a lot of eyeliner, but if I do, I love this Bare Minerals eyeliner in black. 
Um, to make my eyelashes look extra thick, I just put a thin line right on my lash line. Um, sometimes I'll put it on my lower lash line if I'm going out or I'll do a little wing tip or something like that if I'm going a little bit more fancy with my eyeshadow. But just for day-to-day -day use, um, I use this big and bright eyeliner just on the lash line just to give my eyelashes a little extra um, volume. Um, the last things that I use is um, lip glosses. The first one is actually a chapstick. It's Burt's Bees, but it's the tinted version in rhubarb. And it's great because I love Burt's Bees chapstick. It is one of the only chapsticks that really works for me. And this it just gives you a little subtle glow of color on your lips um, while it moisturizes and protects. So this is one of my all-time favorites. Um, you don't have to sacrifice um, not having nice colorful lips when your lips are chapped because this does both. So that's great. And the second product that I love is um, the Tarte Natural Lip Stain Pencil. And it is a lip stain, but it's super, super moisturizing. It's in this giant crayon. Um, so it literally, you just like draw it right on top of your lips. It gives you a nice color, really, really great shine. It's super moisturizing. And one of my favorite tricks is I actually try to match my cheeks with my lips. Um, that way... It kind of brings up both the colors, so your face is really nice and bright and glowing and youthful. So that's my trick. And those are all the beauty products that I use on a daily basis. Most of them you can buy right at the drugstore. So um, this look can be yours if you want. Thank you.